Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. Today, we're going to do a video I don't do very often. Uh, we are going to be showcasing Coconut Lilith. We're going to be talking about some problems I've been having with her AI, how she kind of functions, and we're going to talk about all of this in regards to the current guild battle map, which I have been having a lot of fun playing on. So let's go ahead and dig in. <laughs> So Coconut Lilith has been, I would say, problematic and frustrating for me. Uh, she, her AI does not prioritize the way that I would have liked. And as a result of that, I have had to turn a lot of her abilities off, right? So let's talk about that. So the first ability I turned off was Barrage. And you wouldn't think that barrage would be an ability you would have to turn off. And I had talked about turning it off previously because of the fact that it was such high AP cost. Well, what ended up happening is barrage is like her a priority go to attack. Uh, I could not get her to use another move. I couldn't get her to use drain charge. I couldn't get her to use her job level 25 ability. She would literally go right to barrage every single time. And it probably has to do with the fact that it has such high range associated with it, but it would just deal, you know, it's not dealing a ton of damage It's draining her AP and it would kind of be her first go to. Now her drain charge ability is her most powerful ability in her kit. And you would think this would be great that she would be using this and spamming this, but the portion of damage drained, it's not like drain force where drain force, you know, the damage that you deal is the damage that you absorb. It's very similar to like one third of the total damage dealt. So while it's her most powerful ability in her kit, you know, once you turn off barrage and you turn off her limit break, all of a sudden it just becomes drain charge spam. And this whole time, I was trying to get her to spam armor break arrow. I wanted her to use armor break arrow to lower the defense on targets within range and then deal damage and raise her own defense because I wanted to prioritize her defensive capability. So I literally had to turn off in order to get her to work the way that I had wanted her to work. I had to turn off barrage. I had to turn off her limit break and I had to turn off drain charge. And I would say she's finally in a spot where I'm relatively happy with her. Uh, we're trying to go for a little defensive build here. So you can see that she's at 64 defense, six spirit. And her whole design, right? Her whole thought and the thought behind this build is that she will be able to survive. And you'll see that this just isn't necessarily always the case. Now she is gonna be paired up with Zazan and Keton. Uh, initially, I did have um, not Zombie Ryu's TMR on Keton, but I was running uh, Sage's Brett because Keton will actually use Wish for Peace and buff the luck 35% on both Zazan and herself for that evasion. But I just found that there were too many times where Keton was just getting one-shotted either by a lucky hit or by Black Rose Helena, and it just became more necessary for me to have uh, Zombie Ryu's TMR on her than actually buffing the luck of both Zazan and herself. Now, I could have put the Sage's Barrette on Zazan. The problem with that, though, is that he will not buff with that TMR. Uh, he will prioritize his uh, re-raise, his guts ability, uh, before he prioritizes anything else. And you kind of have the opposite problem with his own TMR ability if you do put his TMR on. So you run into a lot of problems in terms of ability prioritization if you try and use it on Zazan. And then same with Lilith, you're running into this ability prioritization issue where she's not going to use the abilities that you want her to use unless you just hard turn off all the other abilities, which is really a shame. Ooh, sorry guys, I just woke up here, but uh, I wanted to make sure and make this video before uh, Guild Battles went live. So we are up a little bit earlier than usual. Um, I would say the best kind of opportunity to counter this if you're seeing people run ketone or earth element comps is exactly what Zent is doing here. You see how he just put his 2B in there uh, with ketone and Zazan. I mean, honestly, I would think that 2B in here is maybe better than even having Coconut Lilith. 
Uh, I really am struggling to make her be effective. But let's go ahead and go up against Elgite. Uh, I've fought him a couple times now, uh, but he has kind of the Dwayne, Black Rose, Helena, King Mont. So we'll be able to see some, you know, relative patterns. You can see how this team can uh, work through things here. Uh, Black Rose Helena um, can be a problem for Coconut Lilith just because she's so defense oriented, which is just kind of the way it's going to be, right? You can see here in this particular situation, uh, we are also in a situation where Black Rose Helena has re-raised too. So uh, Ketone does have pretty high range with Debilitator, but Zazan is going to get both re-raises off here. And normally Ketone doesn't get hit by that. So that's actually pretty surprising to me. So this is the first iteration of Defense Arrow, which I think is really nice, right? Where it just lands and it goes off and it hits perfectly. It hits both Dwayne and Black Rose Helena. Uh, Ketone, of course, going for the Drain Force blow here, uh, healing herself all the way to full. So almost, you know, it's it's that situation again where maybe if Lilith had her mastery ability, uh, she would have been able to buff Ketone into a survivable range for some of these attacks. So really unfortunate. You're going to see uh, Lilith get one shot here, probably. Yep. So if Black Rose Helena gets anywhere near Lilith, just immediate death immediate death will follow <laughs> and so you can see here pretty much gl zazan is the one that is carrying this entire composition right and even then it's it's a you know him getting lucky with his dodges it's him getting lucky you know just in general so unfortunately you know even having the earth comp going up against the standard things that you would expect and i should point out here what Zazan just did, he moved to a crystal and didn't use an ability. He does have access to Sentinel right now on his Paladin sub. So there is absolutely no reason he could not have used Sentinel in order to protect himself there. So the AI prioritization for Zazan with crystals and running away is also really weird. And I just don't know, you know, I... I don't know what the solution is. Maybe we could put like Golem on and get some more max HP up. But as you keep seeing, right, like Ketone and Coconut Lilith, uh, they just get pretty much one shot no matter what. Uh, and that re-raise is really the only solution uh, that I have really found. Let's go ahead and try some other compositions. We're of course trying out against my guild. We'll try Fiano, uh, very similar formation with Dwayne, Black Rose, Helena, and Rain. I know Fiano usually likes to run anti-magic, so we might actually stand a better chance against this formation than other formations. Get that re-raise right away. Hopefully this time, um, Ketone will be able to get Utsu Semi off as well. But that's another problem that I've had here, is if you don't have her using the luck up buff, right? Uh, if you have her using zombie TMR, she'll just run forward. Whereas if you ever use the luck hat, she will use Utsusemi and she'll buff her evasion. So it's really just, I don't know. It's, it's a weird, I feel like the prioritization is just all sorts of whacked out right now. <laughs> you can see there's Ketone dying again, right? Not evading shit. <laughs> I mean, you almost wonder at what point, right? Um, what point it would be better to just, you know, do something like getting rid of Ketone and putting in like King Mont just as a distraction, right? So you do have to consider that. Well, we did dodge two attacks here, but it looks like this Black Rose Helena will take out our Coconut Lilith again, which is tragic. It's so the last thing you want to see is a unit taking 9,000 damage. <laughs> but it is it is going to be what it is. Zazan got re-raise removed. This has basically been the tragedy that is my morning, trying to make Earth Element Comp work in some type of meaningful way. 
And honestly, I think it just will not come together or come together in a way that will meaningfully go against Black Rose, Helena, Dwayne, and these other kind of meta units right now. And it's, it's a little sad, you know, I, you know, I thought I could make Coconut Lilith work. I thought I could make her, you know, become a little bit more powerful in terms of the Guild War scene. We could try and replace Keton, but I'm not sure who we would replace her with. Uh, we could also try switching positions. So let's actually give, let's actually give uh, Sage's Brett another try here. And let's actually try switching positions with Lilith, right? And let's see, we might be able to get Keton to run off the edge here and do something fancy where maybe she buffs the party and then Zazan will have the luck buff. So I'm wondering if that might be the way to go. Maybe Lilith will have better chance surviving Black Rose Helena uh, if she is down on the beach level. Uh, I know that's counterintuitive, right? Because you would think, well, she's, you know, a ranged unit. You wanted to have her up on the top, but I, I honestly don't think position really matters that much if units can hit them no matter where you're at, right? Or if you have units that are on the high ground racing to run down the high ground, right? There we go. So Ketone did run down there, which is really nice. So she did run down to buff. So now I have all three units down below uh, and they're together which is going to be great maybe until Black Rose Helena decides to limit break all of them. <laughs> oh, I might need to switch Zazan. Oh, but then luck won't be able to hit um, Zazan. We would be getting a luck buff for... Mm, let's see how this plays out. This is, this is what I've been working on. It's been a mess, y'all. It's been a super mess. So armor break's only gonna hit one unit. Oh, dis disable's a little bit different. That is that is something that has not really happened. Oh, uh, we did kill Mont though. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here goes the dead ketone. Yeah, there's the dead ketone. No re-raise this time. And there's the first life from uh, GL Zazan. Gosh, if only they had like an Earth Element Mastery from Bikini Lilith, right? Black Rose Helena would have died there. I'm surprised they're just ignoring Bikini Lilith, too. She's just like, I'm right here, guys. <laughs> oh, we proc the reflex. Oof. All right, now I'm curious if having her LB would make a little bit of a difference, but... You know, it, it's one of those situations where you're like, oh, I don't know if it will be. So we're going to go ahead and do one more round. We'll go ahead and turn on her LB here uh, just to kind of highlight what I am messing with. And you guys can kind of get a good feel for where I'm at right now. Uh, turn on beach attack. She might be able, maybe she'll be able to kill Black Rose Helena with that. We could do, we could take away her like... Maybe we do. Maybe we just go full on missile attack here. We'll take off the defense. We could go tune up for agility and defense piercing rate. Let's just try that. Or actually, let's try doing range. I think focus is range, right? No, it's activation time. Well, I guess she already she already has her range one. I don't think giving her her TMR for range two would make that much of a difference. Do you guys think it would? We might have to experiment with that too. I, that's definitely something that is curious, right? Because her TMR is so weird in that it adds range like that. So here we go. Round five, the final round here, going to test out um, a little bit of Coconut Lilith's LB potentially here. It would be nice if we could get Keytone to use Utsusemi too. 
but I'm thinking she might not with enemy positioning. Got the revitalize. Okay, so she is using the Utsu Semi here. Oh yeah, there's... Oh, she didn't use her LB, she used Armor Break. That's surprising to me. Oh my god, Lilith. Oh my god, just one shot again. Oh, this is so painful. You would think a new unit could survive more than, like, one hit from Black Rose Helena. I mean, maybe we need to go a little bit more defensive, but... I mean, maybe Golem is the way we go, right? We did land the Disable on Black Rose Helena there. But honestly, it, maybe maybe at this point we just put Vow of Love on uh, Zazan just because he's tanking so well and then just have the other units stay alive long enough to plink the opponents down to death. There's the re-raise. Oof, and we did not win that round. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this showcase of kind of Coconut Lilith and me trying to make the make make Coconut work is what I would like to do. And it's it's definitely proving difficult. I think probably the next step in my testing is going to involve giving her her own TMR and having her use her own TMR as an opening ability. Now that I know that she will use uh, defense break arrow with her LB turned on. I can leave her LB turned on and have barrage turned off. A lot of people might be asking, you know, doesn't barrage deal more damage? Uh, for my testing, it does not. So for those of you who are like, oh, you should leave barrage on, um, it, it, from my experience, it does not. Uh, it's probably better designed if you're trying to go for like a AOE barrage build, or maybe we go, you know, maybe we go triple ranger on this map and we do go for a triple barrage build. But anyway, everybody, I'm curious what you think. If you guys can think of a way to make this build work, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. And uh, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day.